Hey everyone, my name is Callie. Um, I am in my car and I'm gonna film kind of like a different video today and post it on YouTube. So um, I am basically gonna share my experience with the new age stuff, the law of attraction, crystals, manifesting, um, just share my experience why it's dangerous, why I don't do it as a Christian, and why you shouldn't do it. Um, I've been holding off for a while on making this video because I know it can be like a touchy subject and a lot of people take offense. Um, I just want to put that out there that I'm not coming at you as judgmental, condemning you of um, if you practice these things. I'm um, truly just sharing my experience and um, God's truth and um, yeah, I think it's important to share your testimony as Christians and this is part of mine. So I, um, let's just get into it. So with how my story started with getting into all of this, um, I think it was around the time I was graduating high school, around 2020. I remember getting introduced to the book, The Secret. I don't even know, like maybe my mom brought it up first um, and she read it and then I read it. And then I even watched the documentary on Netflix. Um, so that's how I got introduced into like the law of attraction. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I feel like I was just searching for something at that point, like hope. And it all makes sense now looking back at my old self. Like I was definitely just searching for more, searching for hope and joy and um finding myself and all of that. Um, so I got really into it because I was just like, this is so cool. I can manifest everything, my life, like basically what do I want my life to be of? Like, and I thought it was all good things. Like it comes off as harmless and light if the enemy comes to deceive us, it com the enemy comes as a form of light. So I thought of this all being super positive, like super great for me, um, and just harmless. And I, it started to consume me. Like I thought everything I was attracting, good or bad, and um, like I had to always be hyper aware of my thoughts and that if something did happen to me that was bad that day, like it was my fault and it was just super stressful. Okay, so the term new age wasn't used until around 1970s, but the teachings go back um, to early mankind. The movement is all about like acceptance, light, um, spiritual awakenings. Basically, you the goal is to evolve spiritually um, through different kinds of practices. These practices aren't really new age. It really is old age. It, it These teachings go on um, back to the garden. Um, the very essence of new age would be what Christians call the serpent's lie. The very first lie um, ever was that you can be like God and that you are divine. I think human beings have always tried to elevate themselves to a God like status and um in fact it was a big issue in the old testament with the Isra israelites um adultery was everywhere and they saw themselves like they didn't need god and i think human beings still do that today if you're unfamiliar with um the term new age or where these practices come from um they come in forms through tarot cards psychic readings crystal energies astro projection which is literally the belief that your spirit can leave your body and project onto other spiritual planes um which is actually quite popular this stuff goes deep you guys there is some scary like i didn't get that deep but we'll go into some of these things so the furthest i went into this was the law of attraction and crystals um but um, I was into, you know, trying to manifest my reality. I remember doing a new moon, like basically a ritual um, where you charge your crystals. I don't even know. Looking back, it's so sad. Like 
putting like literally putting my faith into the universe and crystals law of attraction basically teaches you that you're your own god that whatever you speak into existence is gonna happen um whatever you really really want your desires are gonna happen like you attract what you put off just all of that like even with sickness like you attracted it is basically what it's saying and it really left me overwhelmed how my life laid out in my hands and now that like i know that my life is in god's hands like the stress relief so much better having my faith in the god who created me rather than myself but yeah i think a lot of the teachings um have been kind of twisted out of the bible even um like wherever the bible says like ask and you shall receive and god gives you the desires of your hearts and all of that proverbs 16 9 says the heart of man plans his way but the lord establishes his steps um yes we are supposed to tell god our desires and our plans and dreams but our um, destiny is in his hands like he is in control he knows what's going to happen every step of the way in your life he is in ultimate control which should ultimately give you peace um knowing that his plans are good our desires have to match up with his it's not like oh god can i have like a lamborghini can i have all this money like our desires will match up with his when we are in his word, when we are spending time with him, talking to him, building a relationship with God, his desires become ours and they should be righteous and um, they should be pure. The, the law of attraction can work and it does, but what you're receiving it from is not from God. Like you are the enemy um gifts his people as well and if it's not from god it's from the enemy so the things you're dabbling in and asking you're asking the universe you're not asking god um like you're ultimately you're dabbling in in demonic stuff and you may say like oh you're going like christians go deep into all of this like it's not that big of a deal it really is. Um, do your research on the founder of the Law of Attraction. Um, it was this lady from a long, long time ago. I think her name was like, I'm, I'm not going to say that right. I'm just going to put a picture of her. Um, but she was a Russian occultist who worshipped Satan. And um, she believed that he offered us wisdom. And you just do your research on that. That should tell you enough that this stuff isn't of God. Big influencers in this are like Abraham Hicks and he has some weird beliefs and weird teachings. So um, when I was into this stuff, I always, you know, I assumed I was a Christian. I, I knew God, but I didn't have a relationship with God, so I wasn't into my faith yet, and um, I came about this stuff, and um, then I started getting into my faith. Like, I was starting to watch sermons online, and I basically, like, was convicted by God about manifesting in the law of attraction, and I started looking up videos because... I ultimately was like, why am I, how can I ask the universe and like journal about all this stuff? Like, oh, I want this, but like, I'm not praying to God. So like Googling YouTube videos on new age and Christians and basically found a lot, a lot of videos that were like new age to Jesus and new age to, um, you know, why it's dangerous and all these videos and I just went down a rabbit hole and I immediately threw out my stuff. I am, I was like, who am I now? Like, what am I going to do? Because I put my whole identity into this stuff. It was clearly bad and I saw the dangers of it. But like God just pulled me right out of it. I'm so thankful for him for opening my eyes to it. I threw out like my crystals. I threw out my law of attraction books 
and any spiritual books I had just became very clear to me. Like all these videos with what ha has happened to them because they got involved in the new age practices. So if that wasn't like enough for me to be like, oh, this is dangerous and I don't know what would have been. I, I knew I had a weird feeling when I was doing some of this stuff. Like I got saged once and you know, I was gonna sit there, meditate, do what's just evolve and um, do what they told me to do. Sit there and meditate on, you know, attract what I, <laughs> like looking back, this was so just, so yeah, I remember doing that and like having this evil, like bad feeling about it and like was honestly kind of scared. And I was like, eh, I'm just not gonna like do, some of the stuff like I'm not gonna get too deep into it but because I had like this gut feeling and um that was God that was the Holy Spirit so yeah we are definitely deceived into thinking that we have more power than we do that we are just in charge of our reality and our lives if you just have enough faith and belief then it's gonna happen <laughs> um scripture is abundantly clear on these teachings and practices being not of God and dangerous and um, he really takes it very seriously. In astrology, horoscopes, um, astrology signs or moon signs, whatever they are, birth charts, new moon rituals, like these are all essentially witchcraft and I'll, I'll go more into some of these things. When we're seeking these, we're seeking out to these things for answers and it's like dude god is all knowing like hello he is your creator um like he knows you more than anyone else more than any anything else like the power behind this stuff you guys is dark and it comes from the enemy if it's not from god it's from him and like if you're going to psychics for answers like, they're operating from demonic things and um that might be a lot to take in. Maybe I, I don't know if I should say all of this. Okay. Okay. In a lot of the videos that I was watching on YouTube, like a lot of them um, said they have dealt with anxiety and panic attacks after they dabbled in this stuff and sleep paralysis and nightmares. Um, I truly believe it opens doors for oppression. Like the, it's so much deeper. The people who identify with their astrology sign and like find their whole identity into that is kind of scary to me. As Christians, our identity is not in the moon, the our moon signs. Like um, it makes sense that this stuff would be popular because like people are just searching for identity and validation and like hope and you know we turn to these things to tell us who we are um but Jesus Jesus is who tells you who you are and your identity comes from him and I I get it people you know Christians still dabble in the Enneagram and their astrology sign but like me knowing all of this information I don't even take part in it anymore i don't dabble in it because i just feel like why even dip your toes in at this point when you know all of this so that's just me but um you know i get people it's a fun thing to read about yourself so with the enneagram um it comes from a guy named claudio i'm gonna put his name right here um and he said he got this stuff, got his information from Ato Atomic Writing, um, which is an occult trance channeling of demons. I'll put like literally the definition right here. Um, but like, doesn't that just scare you? Like knowing that I would not even dabble in it. Some of that stuff is true. Like it can be so such a part of your character, but if you're like devoting yourself, your 
you're finding your whole identity into that is when like I feel like it's an issue as a Christian. I don't look too much into like the star signs and whatever but I, I know like the characteristics can be really fleshly and um like for an example I remember someone being like oh yeah mine says I'm quick to anger like that's just who I am um but that like as a Christian when you are born again through Christ you have you receive the the fruits of the spirit um you are new leaving the old self behind and anger is not one of the fruits of the spirit like it's self-control so um that's an example leviticus 20 16 i will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spiritists to prostitutes themselves by following them and i will cut them off from their people um Luke 4, 8, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. You cannot have two gods. So like with the yoga one, I did um, I did yoga here and there. I didn't do it like r religiously, but um, basically the definition is to join to yoga. When you're doing these poses, you are in union with Hindu gods and essentially it's a pagan practice. Um, the poses are to worship other gods and it's just such a, a touchy one because people are like you know I just do it for stretching and I don't know I don't know it's something I don't there is so much research out there that I'll list below as Christians we're called to be set apart we're called to not be of this world and to not participate in things that are not from God in Isaiah 47, ver, um, verse 13 through 14, all the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let your astrologers come forward, those stargazers who make predictions but, um, month by month. Let them save you from what's coming upon you. Surely they are like a stubble. The fire will burn them up. They cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame. These are not coals for warmth. This is not a fire to sit by. So, God clearly warns us about these things. Um, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he's very clear about that. In John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I hope that this opened your eyes. Um, I hope that you'll go do more research. I'm going to list some stuff in the description, but two people I want you guys to look into. Um, so these are two very big people who were very big into the new age um, movement and have literally had books and YouTube, like big YouTube pages while they were all into this new age. And, um, they have come out of it and are exposing this movement and are exposing the dangers of it. So if that doesn't tell you anything, I really don't know what could because, I mean, these people were, weren't even Christians or believers and now they are. But the um, Stephen Ban Bancard, I'm going to list his name right here. Um, he was very big into like the certain kind of meditation Anyways, he exposed this stuff like and says things way better than I have said in this video. So go watch some of his videos. Um, and then the other is Doreen. Um, she ha was a New Age author. So she wrote books about all this stuff, guys. She was very huge into it and now is a Christian and exposing these things. So look into those people. Like, again, I'm not trying to be all condemning, but... Um, the Bible says expose darkness in Ephesians 5 11 take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness but instead expose them and I just really want to I just I really want to um bring, bring more awareness to this stuff and put my experience out there because if I knew what I knew now before I started like I wouldn't I wouldn't have even dabbled in it so you guys like God is looking out for us. He is our protection. He is our guidance. 
I am just so grateful that we serve a such loving God who wants to direct your path in life. Like he has it all figured out, which gives me so much peace now knowing that like I don't have to stress about what I'm doing in life and like God has it all planned out. Like I am in the palm of his hand. Thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I don't know how to end this. Um, hope you have a blessed day. If you have any questions, feel free to just like reach out to my Instagram um, and ask me anything. But yeah. God is so good. Um, bye.